hi my love welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe my video contain of chit chat weekly blogs um sit down hauls and skincare and motherhood and living in new york city so if you're interested in any of that that i said make sure you subscribe like and comment and i also do like sit down and today we have henny and i got this from my new church that I was going to. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't been going this summer, but um, I've been, but that's a different story. I don't I don't wanna get into that in this video, especially cause I'm like, but they gave me this little shot glass, the Lord is my light, my salvation. So I'm gonna take shot today while I answer some question and I'm also gonna be doing my eyebrows, so. So, um, yeah, so stay tuned. The questions that I'll be asking, asking myself that I will be answering today, it will be 10 urban slang words every mama should know in 2024. Because uh, my oldest is 11, then my twins are 9, they're about to be 10 November. My son is 7, he's about to be 8 in October. And my youngest is 1, Chloe. But those three oldest girls are talking with a lot of slang yep some parents don't understand what that comes from some 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 words they be using i don't be understanding either like what what you just said this is new so i'm here to for any mother that's watching i'm here to help you out sis because i'm still learning every day okay so don't feel ashamed we're gonna get there i'm just admiring how beautiful my skin is looking today it's not the great but it's you know it's a1 look it's, it's, ah, okay let's get into the video put a shot one big gigantic shot i got water on the side i should have bring lemonade but we're gonna do with the water because i chloe is calm she's behind me and she's calm so i'm on uh, you know That's a shot. That's a hella big shot. I'm going to just take half of that for one shot, okay? Because that's a big shot. Mm -mm, don't play with me. I got children. <laughs> Henny. I would have done wine again, but the wine that we had is old now. I mean, this is done. Daddy bought this recently. I mean, the wine is not old. It's not, it didn't go bad. It's just this is the newest, so I just went for this honey okay let's take a shot before we start with the foundation okay mm. So if, when I, I told y'all in the last weekly blog that I got a new um, concealer, I got a little new one, a little lighter to see if that's better. But we're doing eyebrows today, and what I have for my eyebrows here is I have this one. I'm looking through all my pencils. Where is the other? I know I have two. This one. I got these two brushes. I got these from the Beauty Supply Store. This is Doug Brown, one and only. Do eyebrows. So boom. And then I got this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. What color is this? Soft brown. I should have got this dark brown because soft brown so soft for me. Okay, so we're gonna get the foundation brush out and let's get started. Let's get started. I know you're sick of me doing my makeup, but I enjoy editing these videos 
And also on Sunday, I don't do much, so I just, when I clean and I don't want to vlog and I just want to clean without being on the camera, I will have a video like this. Sit down, chit chat. Or answering questions, you know. So let's start with the question. Question. Well, it's not a question, sorry. The first word, urban slang words, every mama should know in 2014. 2014. 2024. Sorry. Number one is Riz or Rizzler. That word is short for charism. Like, he thinks that girl is riz or she has a riz or she's, like, he find her attractive. So he will say, that girl has a riz, you know? I don't know, what is the satisfaction of me applying foundation? But when I apply and I see this in my skin, I feel so satisfied. So yeah, guys, riz is charisma. My daughter Chloe has wrists. She's such a wrist. <laughs> Can't even wear this time. Mm. Okay, number two, because I have ten, so. Number two, the Lulu. I love the Lulu. I love to use the Lulu. Like, you gotta be the Lulu, boo boo. Cause you have to be. Mm -hmm. You have to be the Lulu, boo boo. Um, the Lulu short for delusional. For those who don't know, but that's one of my favorite words to use. One of my favorite slang to use. Delulu, you so Delulu. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three, eight, and left with no crumbs. <laughs> okay, let's see. What you doing, Mama? Leave my calendar alone. Eight and left no crumb is used for when someone has done a good job, and left no crumbs when someone has truly exceeded, like done it the greatest like yo she killed it like she nailed it like she killed it like she, yeah eight is like she killed it to me <laughs> mm -hmm. you gotta get the you gotta get the ears girls you got you see, when I do my hand like that, I can't do. I can't do makeup with, my, with that hand. What are you doing, do Lulu? <laughs> okay, okay. Eight and left no crumb. Y'all already heard what it was. Okay, we up to number four. Number four is gassed up. Gas up. Like to encourage or hype somebody up. Go down here because this is the part that I need to blend in more because I feel like my neck is not blending in. With but what am I looking like now? Mm -mm. I'll be right back. Putting the foundation in like a crazy woman. <laughs> if y'all knew what I did, y'all would be like, whoa, girl. Yes, I got all the foundation in that I needed to get in. And now my eyes are tearing up. I swear every time I do makeup, my eyes want to tear up. And I'm like, girl. <sighs> okay. Ooh. So now that I got the foundation one, girl, I want to try this new one because I bought it and I haven't been, I haven't used it. So let's take another shot and then go in with the concealer, okay? Oh. Ooh, girl. Please don't judge the mess behind me. It's a bunch of just toy on the floor for baby Chloe. Wow, that is nasty. I don't know how people can drink every day, but good. Let's try this. Under my eyes. Oh, no, wait. I always put it on my ears. I'm going to keep that in practice. Ooh, ooh, I'll put more than. Now I need a little. My little brush. Boom. So now I'm going to see what's going on. Uh, 
I think that's just all. Oh. No. Okay, I, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly, guys. I watch videos and then I forget. I forget because I got a lot of million things in my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm a mother. I'm a mother. Nah, just kidding. I'm still learning. I don't practice daily and I don't watch too much video, I'm gonna be honest. I need to. I've been so invested in skincare that I don't... I do not invest too much time on makeup. I do buy makeup and I do love makeup and that's my plan. But now, now that I'm okay with a, a skincare brand that I'm using, I should share with you guys that another day. But I will share it with you guys what I've been using now, starting since I bought some new brand product yesterday. Ooh, I love this color foundation. I feel like it's doing me justice, which I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so gassed up is to encourage or hype somebody up. Like, I, yo, I had to gas him up, bro, so he could let me go. Like, whatever the situation may be, you know? So that's what gassed up me. Gassed up. Okay. Number five, on God means they're telling the truth. Yeah. On God, I promise you. On God used to be for the Gen Alpha. The version of on God for the Gen Alpha is no cap. For the Gen Z version, I swear. For the Millennium version of on god i promise so it has changed throughout the years you can see yup 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 <laughs> number six she's okay i don't know if i did that right but sheesh used to e express surprise or amaze amazement could be used like sheesh damn that that girl look good or, that boy look good what the hell you saw that that dot, oh my god, I didn't mean to do none of that. Oh my god. Oh my god, now I'm getting all like powdery up. Like my foundation. I'm ruining my makeup. I just wanted to cover that dark spot that I got right here. Why is it spreading? It's... What happened, mama? What happened? Be right back, guys. Um, forgot. I didn't finish, right? She's number six. Sheesh, used to express or surprise or amaze could be used as a response for posi something positive or negative. Mm. Like, sheesh, you took, she took everything? Oh, D. Sheesh, you did, sheesh. You got how much? It could be like that, you know, guys? <laughs> so there goes the foundation. I said I was gonna do brows and look at me over here doing my eyes like crazy. Like, come on, sis, do you? Okay, so now we're gonna go with the eyebrows so we can really get into what we're gonna get to. Okay, we're gonna fill this up. We're gonna take two more shots. We're good for the day, guys. Two more shots. Ooh. That's a bag. That's two shots right there, guys. That's two shots. Okay. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god, that was nasty. Mm, I'm nasty. Why do I keep drinking if it's nasty? <laughs> Number seven, taking an L taking a loss so like when you make a decision you gotta make sure you're ready to take an L with that decision because you might succeed or you might take an L either or you gotta come even if you you win and you're like oh I'm gonna get this job 
you don't get the job you take a you take it out you know I mean you try but it's not even like that it's like i'm about to spend my whole whole check on this and if i make it and if i don't make it then i'm gonna have to start hustling from the bottom so that's like taking the l <laughs> and then and also even if you get the job you got to take the l with what it come with i don't know if i'm explaining myself well but i hope you guys understand <laughs> and um yeah that's what i know taking l that's taking a loss number eight salty salty to me is somebody yo that that she mad salty like somebody mean or he salty mad mean mad nigga what you dropping over there so salty when someone is unreasonable annoyed or upset about a situation okay um let's start with the eyebrows and then we're gonna go with number nine and number ten okay guys okay okay so i need to brush my eyebrow first this brush you know i'm gonna go in with the gel brush that i bought i mean that came in my ipsy box i know it says online online it says to um use vaseline but i did but it doesn't move my hair like this it will move my hair and they said that um when you use gel eyebrow it, it messes up your eyebrow like um supposedly because there's a lot of things they saying out there but they saying that um when um when you put gel supposedly your hair falls off and stuff i don't know how realistic that is but let's get in with the gel and that's daddy i did his hair yeah interested in seeing a video of me doing his hair comment down below i even do his skincare he's a he's the barber though he could cut hair and stuff like that he does all our son hair cut i see that i'm ruining my makeup right there and i'm sweating because i didn't even notice the fan was facing somewhere else okay i just want to brush it up so i can have a good vision of my lining as you can see look at this a bunch of concealer i'm about to um not concealer but foundation but i'm gonna put concealer on this so it's gonna fix that problem so Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. And I'm tearing up because every time I do my makeup and the fan is beaming, I'm like crying and shit. I'm gonna go in with the dark brown. Dark, the darker brown here. Where are you? Thank you. Okay, I'm picking up daddy's shirt. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. Let me go. Ain't it funny how the tone of your voice seems to clash with every single loving word you say? Ain't it funny how your smile never reaches your eyes and you're still gonna tell me you're okay? No, I can be absent-minded. God knows I'm a work in progress Still I know where my heart and mind is I can say that you got it, no doubt Baby, still I digress I know it ain't easy to love me I know it ain't easy to love me I know it ain't easy to love me Girl, you know I'm grateful Yeah, I'm grateful Girl, you know I'm I know it ain't easy to love me Let me freely be vulnerable and not always closed up I can see your frustration when I'm not always vocal Please just be patient, I put the time and the work on it I'm not the best, there is this ain't man Them credit cards is crazy, that don't stop me from providing Taking care of all my babies, I'm just saying nothing perfect on the planet 
step you Thank the most I most for the day I met you It ain't easy to love me Kick my ass, I'm still learning, I'm still learning I had to use these little, um... I used this one, I don't know, one of these, I have five, but I love number three, but I lost it looking for tape around the house, so I don't know where it is, but whatever, when I get up, I'll probably find it later, so I used, I think, three or one or two, oh no, three is lost, but this is one, so I'm gonna use it, I, I taped this on my eyebrow, and then I, I used the stamp, where is the stamp, oh, the stamp drop, I'll get it later, and then I used this, eyebrow pencil it's a mess up in here guys i use this eyebrow pencil to fill it in i think it's a little too dark and it still looks too super dark so i'm probably gonna go a little lighter when i go buy eyebrow pencils because i got one it's too light and then i got this one it's too dark i gotta get something in between and um i feel like i did okay you know um that cakey look that I was telling y'all about that I don't like in the acne. You see that? You see my, um, I don't, I didn't have none of this until I put foundation on. So I'm very sensitive when it comes to foundation. But when I take this off, I probably won't have these acne because I do skincare. So I don't know. I'll let y'all know in the next vlog, in the week vlogs. I'll let y'all know if I still got the breakout. I don't understand. It might be the foundation. I might need something more sensitive or I don't know. But at least I'm not like having acne, acne. Because the foundation prior to this one, this one, this one that I got Beauty Fly Store, this one broke me out even though it was supposed to be covering care and supposed to be like really good for the skin because it's caring for your skin. But that joint broke me out, bro, when I tell you. This one is just giving me these. But that's what I don't like when I see that on my makeup. I don't like it. But it, now looking at it, it's not that bad. I mean, a pimple is harder. It's my opinion about me and how I would like working with makeup. But let's go to number 9 and 10. Let's finish this video strong i mean y'all can go ahead and hit me in the comment what you think about the makeup of course i don't got no eyelashes i don't i don't know how to put eyelashes yet but i do do my own mascara and you can see that mascara i got is working boo it's working you can see how long they are huh? ew i love this lip combo i mean you can't see the line of the lip because it's the same color of the lipstick but it looks it looks really good. I like the couture that I used today. Y'all can't see it much, but it's from this palette. Ooh. All right, today I used this on my eyelid or over my eye. Uh, I don't know, I didn't put highlighter, I forgot. But I used this, this for my highlighter, and this as my couture. And that's what I forgot. I forgot to put highlighter, I mean, um, blush. You know what, I'm gonna do that right now, girl. Even though I already put the setting spray, I'm going to just tap a little bit. You know, just to give me color right there. It's cute. But, okay, well, let's go back. Because I keep saying let's go back and I forget the urban slang words every mama should know in 2014. We up to number nine. Number nine is guat. When I tell you that my girls came home one day... And was saying guillot and i'm like what is that like i wasn't like interested in knowing i thought they were just making like it was a funny word that they created and i didn't say much about it but the more they used it they started they told me what it meant and i was like whoa so guillot means girl your a ass is thick refers to someone attracted to you know yeah crazy yet i don't understand what that how that was made like that's crazy how that was made and then number 10 is pop pop off pop off to me pop pop off look i can't even say like i'm a white bitch or something <laughs> pop off to me is like she about to fight <laughs> she tired she, she gonna fight you go fight you that's what it means to me but in the end of this in the end of it says says or write something passionately or in a very emotional manner, they're popping off. No, that could be it too. I don't know. It could be, you know. Some people they pop off when they're passionate. 
So I just put a little bit of setting spray with the font and the blush. So it can look cute. So this palette, you can use this palette for to beat your whole face if you need to. I usually use this one, but I decided to use this one today. I got a mess in front of me if I could tell you guys. But that's it. That was the 10. That was the 10 um words us mama need to know that our kids are gonna be saying, you know. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog, this sit down and chit chat video and drinking some honey. And I hope you guys like my my this is not my skincare routine, but this is my makeup. Learning to do makeup. I hope you guys like this combo. I know the eyebrow look crazy. So it's a do. But I love you guys. Have a great night and I see you in the I see you in the next vlog. Bye.